Zur at the time of Hazrat Masima Sato Salam, the promised Messiah, the most of the saintly people and pious people accepted Hazrat Masima and accepted Ahmadiyat. But some of them uh, did not oppose, uh, rather supported in one way or the other, like Hazrat Baba Fariyuddin Chachana Sharif Wale. Now it is important that he must have accepted the Imam, Imam ul uh, We still present him as uh, uh, the one who supported and didn't oppose his promised Messiah. Where do you draw the fact of, of that must you have referred to? In what way must? Imam ul He expressed in open terms that he was truthful and he was right in his claims. What else is acceptance? I mean, that was accepted by the Imam himself. So who, who are you or me or anyone else to dictate terms to a relationship between the Imam and the one who accepts him? So he knew better. What way of acceptance would be accepted by God? So Did Masih Maud not know it? What do you think? Huzur, I was uh, discussing the matter with the non md and... I am discussing it with you at present. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, when you say he must have accepted Hazrat Masih Maud Salaam, not in this form but in that particular form, yeah. you are dictating terms to both him and Hazrat Masih Maud Salaam, and ultimately to God. You know, it is the Imam who should decide in the li- uh, f- under the guidance of Allah what sort of acceptance should be uh, um, manif- manifested by what sort of person. Each person has his own category and his own style of life and his own educational and social background and responsibilities in the world and his connections. All these factors go together, together to make the way of acceptance different from person to person. In generally speaking, bath is a form, but the bath that is a form was not present yet. Hazrat Musi- had not yet started. Where yet ha- there were many who accepted Hazrat Musim of the Salam and expressed that acceptance in other words. Even today, people from Pakistan <coughs> write to me. And they do not sign the regular bath form. They just tell me that under the circumstances of extreme hostility, they have not yet been given courage by God. They say that, I mean, generally they refer their own weaknesses to God. But anyway, this is how they say. Because Allah has not given them this much courage, so they express their acceptance of Ahmadiyyat or their desire to get initiated in just ordinary form. And I accept that. The Holy Quran tells us that even there are those who hide their faith for fear of others because they are weak and no harm shall come to them. Allah would accept even that form of submission to uh, Allah's prophets. Of course, that belongs to the lowest form of submission. But if that is acceptable in the sight of Allah, a man like this having the status of Baba Ghulam Farid Sahib and facing a great opposition from his followers and the rest of the mullahs of that time, openly, despite pressures, pressures to the contrary, says it, commits it repeatedly that Hazrat Masih Mawadar is a righteous person, he's right in his, all his claims and he's a godly person. And you don't call it acceptance? Allah does. You know, there are so many people who accepted Ahmadiyyat in different ways. Once I, I think I earlier related this incident, that one, um, you know, Majzub, a person, I, I don't have an equivalent in English for Majzub, but a sort of uh, half-witted person maybe, apparently, but who is not really half-witted, who has lost himself in reverie, in, in his devotion to God, and he has withdrawn within himself. So he 
uh, severs his re outward relationship to an extent that people think that he is half-witted or, uh, you know, all not, not all there. So such a person, shabbily dressed, not caring for his clothes or his manner of speech and things, just once walked into Masjid Mubarak at the time of Asr prayer, while Hazrat Musimah was leading Asr prayer. So immediately after the prayer, he went forward and said, I want to get initiated. So Hazrat Musimah extended his hand and said, all right, say what I say and you will get initiated. The moment he finished, he got up and said, all right, I'm going. Like that. Now, Hazrat Musim also left at that time. One of the present ones, one of the companions of Hazrat Musim took strong exception to this manner of accept, getting initiated. And he started, uh, you know, abuse, not abusing, but censuring him loudly. What's, what manner of person he is? He, what, what, what does he think he is? He comes and gets, tells Hazrat Musim immediately, without listening to him without uh, showing other signs of respect. He says, get, get me initiated at your hand. And after that he doesn't care to stay and says, I'm walking out. What sort of a bath is that? What benefit would he draw from this? And also he said, look here, at, look at Hazrat Musim Every person who comes to him, he tells him, please stay, stay with us and uh, listen to us, be more, longer in our company, you'll go, gain so much. And to him, he just straight away said, yes, you are permitted to leave. He was hearing it. So, all the time when he finished this, uh, he, he was attentive all the time, but then when he finished, he said, look here, we are one of those who are, are already there. Ponche hue is the Mahavra which he used, which means we are already with God. So, we don't uh, stand in need of such formalities, you know. So he said, why did you come? If you were already there, what brought you here to Masih Maudalai Salaam to get initiated? The answer was, I mean, this can't be translated as it is expressed in Punjabi. His answer was, Utton jutiyan pehndiyan saan. Ke ja baith kar ke God was beating me with shoes. Telling me all the time that go and get initiated, then come back to me. <laughs> so I had to come. So, there's so many varieties of people, so many different relationships with God. And uh, they have their own particular way, you know. So they are taught differently by Allah and expected, different behavior is expected of them. And you are trying to measure them all with one single rod. This won't do. I was discussing with a non md and he said that uh, if Baba... I know, I know, you have already told me, but you tell him what I have told you. Jazakallah. Thank you.